Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh boy. Um, uh, um, uh, okay, fine. <sighs> Dear Mario, uh, whenever you're done collecting all the stars, could you take me miniature golfing? I mean, I just would like to... No, 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 no. If you... If you can't handle Bowser, you can't handle Pirate's Cold. Alright, so, there's a bunch of stuff that I'd like to show before I get to the main thing uh, to finish the place off. So, I think I'm gonna go back over... over... yeah, this was the one, yes. <laughs> over here, Shiverburn Galaxy! <laughs> I will choose the first star. Oh man, no more comet warnings. Yes. Yes. And I can skip the dialogue. Yes. Yes. All right. So the first thing is, well, uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, if you look around the edges, uh, up there, there's some rather spooky figures up there. They're known as the Hell Valley Sky Trees, and I, I, don't, I can't really zoom in that close because I can't hack, and, hack the game or anything like that. I mean, well, I, maybe I could, but I don't have the tools to do so. But yeah, there's a couple of spooky figures out there that will watch over you, as you can see from the beginning here, and there's a lot of, a lot of stories that have come from said spooky figures. That's probably exactly what Nintendo wanted people to do. Because <laughs> they, they're only seeing, yeah, like, you know, right around there, and... Yeah, so it's like there's a couple of figures watching you, it's some spooky dooky stuff, and yeah. <laughs> The other thing that I'd like to show you, and this is also why I specifically started over here, is skating! Because there's a lot of, lot of stuff that you can actually, you know, actually, I mean, a lot of extra room here that I can do to actually skate in a safe manner, so, when you get, when you, well, well, first, actually, you know, let's make this a little easier first, thank you. <laughs> so, basically, when you start skating, like, you know, like you usually do, you can press... I say, you can press the Z button to skate... to skate backwards. Oh yeah, like a pro. Oh yeah, it's not really all that useful or anything like that, but... <laughs> it's just there to be a neat little thing that you can do, and also, apparently, if you spin... You can increase your speed just a little bit, and I am noticing that now, and I never really noticed that before, so I guess it's sort of like the rolls in Ocarina of Time. I never knew that the roll actually sped you up until I seen speedrunners do it, and then I started doing it all the time myself, and annoyed spectators with roll, 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 yeah, yeah, whoa! Okay, I'm I'm done here. Let's go to another galaxy. <laughs> All right, so that's yeah, throwback galaxy. We're gonna go back over to the Womp King here, as I heard of two little giblets. So let's go ahead and uh, first do the thing where you die. Well, actually, no, I don't have to... Um, uh, either or I can do it. it, it you, basically, you got this dialogue that you've seen before. You know how this rolls on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but, but the, the, the thing about it is that you can die, um... Uh, so I'll just let myself do that. <laughs> make sure you get the checkpoint before you do that, just to make things a little faster on yourself. Uh, oh, I have to kill you again? Really? Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Well, basically, if you die, there's gonna be a different little bit of dialogue that uh, you'll hear if you should reface the Womp King. So let's go back down over there and cutscene. And then he's like, it makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles. Your Ah, I'm tired of this speech! Let's see you try and ground pound the Womp King again. Ah! <laughs> it's like cuts himself off to see things along. 
Now the other thing is, if you get on this crown, apparently you'll get another different bit of dialogue. So let's see if I can get myself on. Well, oh, well, oh, 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 oh. well, that that would have worked actually. That wasn't too bad for first attempt. Let me try that again, if you don't mind. I just kind of basically what I'm doing here is the same. Well, that's not going to work, now, is it? That is the same strategy that I'm using to run along the edges on uh, uh, the Super Mario Sunshine type. Oh, I keep forgetting about the earthquake. The Super Mario Sunshine uh, building blocks. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to jump that far. <laughs> okay, come on. Man. Try this again here. But yeah, basically he'll apparently... Oh, I forgot about the earthquake again. He'll do some special thing here. So let's see if I can get him to do... Oh, 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 oh. Oh! 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 Um, well, let's see here. Well, uh, I thought there was gonna... Okay. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be something else, or maybe it's just that he tries and flings you off the edge. I, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again, though. And... Uh, oh, 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 that was perfect. That was perfect. Ha! Hua! Uh, now it's... it's up, whoop, 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 well... Uh... Yeah, I guess that's all he does. He just kind of tries to make you fling off the edge. I don't know if that's really an Easter egg as I thought, but I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong? I ground pounded it? I spun against it? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, that, that's all I, 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 can, I can see how to do here. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I was just about to say that I'm getting good at this. Oh, I guess you can go on his arms, too. That's interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really think there's anything else to find here, Easter egg-wise, then... Aww. Aww. So, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go back over to the map and see you at another galaxy. Alrighty, the next thing is that super massive galaxy. We're going over to the Koopa planet. Now, I don't remember if you do this with the direction that the Koopas are going or against the grain of the Koopas, but, uh, well, I don't... I was just gonna say, I don't want to really, well... Well, now I have to. <laughs> But basically, you can get infinite one-ups by unlimitedly long jumping on them. Okay, I guess it's against the green. <laughs> ah, poopers. Ah, poopers. This is, it's been a while since I did this. That's why. I'm not really an infinite life kind of trick guy. Oh man. Oh man. So maybe you do go with the green. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, you can just keep bouncing on them for all of eternity if you have the skill to do so. <laughs> Uh, let's try going with the green again, because their heads are pretty big. And... Well, uh, or maybe it's just you jump on one Koopa. I forgot how it went. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Oh, this is suddenly correct. Yes, yes, this was how you do it. <laughs> so yeah, you just long jump on the back of a Koopa and then just do this for as long as you can handle it. This is probably something that's handy to do if uh, you kinda, you know, don't want to game over a lot on that final galaxy star that I'll be doing this part as well. So this is probably a pretty good place for me to show this trick, I reckon. <laughs> and it was also nice to hear that little multi-jump uh, sound effect that happened when you, yeah, you just keep going on the Koopa bloop, 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 until you get into the infinite one-up spam that I'm going on here, and this is, uh, this is kind of loud, actually, I didn't wish <laughs> I'm wearing earbuds, and it feels like it's even drowning out my own voice with its but it's worth it if you want the extra lives, I, I guess. How many does this go up to? Does it go up, like, to 99 or higher, or or why? I don't really know. Let's just see here. Oh, we maxed it out! Unless I can go above 99, that just doesn't show, but I don't know. It disappeared there at the bottom right corner. <laughs> Alright. Another area we go! Alright. We're over here at Bowser's Galaxy Generator. For one thing, I still haven't done my redemption. I'm that last run. So, 
Let's go ahead and do that, but one of the things I keep forgetting to mention here, somehow, I don't know, is that when you're on Yoshi, you get a little drum beat to the music. Yeah, you hear that? It's just like Super Mario World, only in 3D. <laughs> so anyway, the redemption portion of this is that, well, oops, well, that's not really going to help me all that much, <laughs> is that I gotta do this last part decently enough. Decently enough, hopefully, maybe, maybe. <laughs> so that involves me doing this whole run, hopefully, without any deaths, and hopefully, timed well. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because it's time. <laughs> Go! There's also something else else that I would like to show that I heard about is that apparently if you make it all the way over to the Bowser area with Yoshi, you know, doing like the infinite flutter jump stuff like that, since the game was not really expecting you to do that, it, it kind of bugs out and stuff. <laughs> so I'll see if I can do the infinite flutter jump to manage to get up there just for the sake of showing that because, you know, why not? Why not? And so far, things are looking pretty good. Should I even go for this? I think I should, just for the ultimate in redemption technology. <laughs> and wait for it, wait for it. Okay, go up and over. Woo! Looking good. All right. I think I have officially redeemed myself on that final run. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna try and get up to the very tippy top of here using the powers of the infinite flutter jump. So, here we go. You ready? Ready? Oh, no. I just gotta get the time of this, timing of this again. It's like, you gotta... Do, oops, shoot. You gotta do, like, a ducking as you're going up, and then then quickly release and do it again. But it's, it's tricky on the timing. Am I ready? We're gonna do this, though. <laughs> well, actually, it's pretty... Well, I was gonna say, I'm pretty consistent when I do it that way. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. All the way up. We can do this. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> ah, shoot. There's only so high that you can actually get yourself before. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to do that. No, don't, don't, no, don't wave goodbye, Yoshi. We're getting up there. We're getting up. Dang it. <laughs> Told you I suck at this glitch. <laughs> come on, come on. There's some glitches I can perform on. Oops. There's some glitches that I can perform on, on command. This is not one of them. <laughs> This, this, this I might not be able to redeem myself on anytime soon. <laughs> come on, no, come on. No. Ah, it's so, so, so tricky on the timing. Three hours later. <sighs> One eternity later. <laughs> Yeah! Okay, so what you might have seen there is that it's more about the press and release of both buttons than it is the actual, like, speediness of movement. So what I'm basically doing there is I am holding this, you know, like that, at the start there. You know, I'm just kind of... But at, but at, like, as I'm starting to go up, I, I hold on to that. And I hold on to it for a decent amount of time, like maybe a half second. And then I quickly release the button and swap it with the A button. Yeah, so it's it's very tricky to get the hang of this, but you most certainly can do it once you do it. <laughs> oh shoot, I don't want to lose Yoshi here, especially since I've come so far. But basically, well, basically now I want to get you know get on get, break this open without actually losing my. Uh, Faithful steed here. 
<laughs> which could be a little bit difficult. So let's just try and... Uh, there we go. See, there's a whole cutscene issue going on here, in that Yoshi will eventually just go back to its egg, you know, the egg that he supposedly got trapped in. If you uh, come here... Oh shoot, that was too far. Yeah, <laughs> you should come here and you wait a little bit too long to get him back to his egg. So there's there's even more more to this than the uh, than just getting Yoshi up here. Okay, I just got Yoshi on the way back down there. Alright, here we go. One more for the road. Um, well, uh, well, mm, come on, come on, come on. Just very quickly, very quickly. Yes! Get on Yoshi, yes! Yes, 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 yes! 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 I never have to do this glitch again. <laughs> oh, here we go! <laughs> And they're basically frozen in midair. Yeah, that was really annoying to relearn how to do that glitch. Ah, give it up already. Why won't you stop trying to mess up my awesome master plan? I'm building my new galactic empire right here, and you can't stop me. Why don't you just run off and go find some green pipe to hide in? Well, because, you know, there's... There's one more star to get. No, not, not, not you. You can... You can do other things, Peach. Can't you see that I'm busy here? I don't have time to chat, so let's cut this short. Shorty. And yeah, you now you can battle Bowser, sort of, kind of, with Yoshi-ish. Because, you know, you can't do the ground pound thing, and Yoshi is completely and utterly unusual in the actual boss fight. <laughs> other than, I guess, other than, I guess, the hover jump. Oh, geez, camera cut out because <laughs> used too much space there. That's okay, we're back. We're back. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, the, the thing about Yoshi here is that, well, yeah, Yoshi, you can't ground pound on Yoshi, so the only thing that you can really utilize him for is for the powers of the hover jumps, and well, well, yeah, there's not really much you can do beyond that. <laughs> So yeah, well, it's neat to get Yoshi here to see that glitch. Beyond that, you can't really take him further than this, because after this point, like, after you beat Bowser, Yoshi will automatically uh, disappear from your power-up inventory, I guess you could say. So it's not really a, uh, oops, not really a, come on, let me, <laughs> Yoshi even hinders the fight. But so yeah, Yoshi, you can only take him so far in this glitch. But yeah, I got Yoshi here. Now you can see him here, and that was good, and now I, I never, ever, ever have to do this again. <laughs> Thank Arceus. Oh, come on, really? Fine, whatever. Well, I'm not, I'm not into it to battle him anyway. I'm going back to the map to do, to do something else, because that was just, that took me way too long to do in on itself. Probably like a good 20 minutes just to relearn that thing. Okay, the next thing we gotta do is go back over to Boss Boot so I You know, I recently did some polishing on my Wilson 8802 to remove some of the... the scratches and, yeah, kind of return it to its... kind of satiny finish of sorts. I think it... I think it turned out pretty well overall. And yeah, I, I definitely will enjoy the future of putting with this beauty of a stick over here, and... Uh, <sighs> no, I'm just kidding, I just wanted to do that joke again. <laughs> Alright, now before we do the final star, let's switch on over to Ye Ol Mario, because I don't want to take any unnecessary risks of slipping and sliding all over the place with Luigi. I want to make this as easy as possible because this one is kind of difficult. It's the one that everyone has been probably waiting for, the Grandmaster Galaxy's 240 second star, the perfect run. Well, okay, it's just the second star of Grandmaster Galaxy. That was bad wording on my part, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> The perfect run is basically, well, 
Prankster Comet, Daredevil Comet, that leaves you at one health, and there's some slight changes to the actual level design. The, not all that much, but the, the, the main issue is that the, it's it's long, it's difficult, because it's very easy to make mistake at any point in time, so be very, very careful. Oh jeez, that's, yeah, like, the, that's, uh, there we go. <laughs> I don't even have to touch the land, yeah. Also, you notice that your arc is a different... Oh, shoot. Is Your arc is a little bit different than the... Uh, um, Like, when you grab onto them, it's different than when you're actually getting pulled to it. You get pulled to the flower at a straight line, but your arc, yeah, goes around there in a circle to the other side of the side that you started at, so... Yeah. <laughs> Keep that in mind for maximum consistency, because you are going to need it. Oh, I should not. Yeah, I'd probably get a chop on the face. <laughs> can I go here with Yoshi? Yeah, I can. I'm not doing that infinite flutter jump again. No, no, no. <laughs> so Yoshi's just a little bit swifter, so it should make this segment potentially easier. Maybe, it might be. Let's see. Eh, yeah, probably, I would say, so I just keep on going around, there we go. Oh yeah, so far, so good. Please get traction, Yoshi. <laughs> uh, each run on this level here, that doesn't really take all that long to do, especially once you get in the routine of things. So, it, you, while you could burn a lot of time trying to beat the level, it's not really that long per attempt, so if, if, if that helps your confidence that, that you don't have to sink 800 hours into attempting to get the star, because eventually you're, you're, you're gonna get it, because you're gonna get just a little better each time. And now on this last hump of the stock market here, you want to try and conserve as many clouds as you possibly can while getting this there, and... Oh yeah, I nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> the reason why is because this segment right here, this is a really nasty segment, and it, it also helped in the Hammer Brothers segment later on, but... Alright, so I'm gonna try and get as far ahead of here as I can, so that I can get as much progress as I can without that much ire, hopefully, and also try not to shake for obvious reasons. Okay, now over here... Once you get past them a certain point, oh jeez, oh that, yeah, that that turned out well. Once you get past them a certain point, they will stop firing their lasers. So yeah, just just relax, just have a good time, and just take it one. Oh, that wasn't good. I was gonna say just take it one thing at a time. And that's why you want to have your cloud. It makes things just a little bit easier. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go... Oh shoot, okay, okay, that's that's okay. That's alright. <laughs> alright, that worked out decently. I got one cloud. That means I can skip some stuff. M maybe not this right here. I want to conserve it as much as I can, but I'll shake if I need to. And I'm gonna use my floaty jump. There we go. Oh yeah, see, because you can't... You can't, like, get yourself out of cloud Mario form, so you've got to deal with that super floaty jump, but watch this trick here. <laughs> You're gonna need to find all the tricks you can possibly find to guarantee your victory. Well, guarantee it as much as you possibly can. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go now. There we go. Let myself drift, and uh, I don't, I don't remember which. I guess I could go then. Uh, how far does the Goomba go back? Uh, that's kind of risky. I think it's better when it's up in front of these here and release. And I, I am further away from the TV this time. <laughs> so I, I actually have less of a dead zone here. Oh, I'm still too close, aren't I? Well, I made it to the last area, so... <laughs> Alright, so now it's a matter of not dying. Ready? Ready? I'm, I'm just gonna try and skip the, the enemies for the most part for obvious reasons. Because <laughs> you just don't really want to risk taking hits if you can help it. Just saying. I'm gonna go and sneak on over here. And I'm also going to sneak on through here. There we go. Ah! Oh! <laughs> ah, so close. 
Yeah, that's why I wanted to sneak through there, because there's so many projectiles back the other way. And look at that, because there's no checkpoints, you're all the way back to the start every time you die. But as you've seen, as long as you stay super concentrated the whole way through, it shouldn't be that difficult. It's just the whole nerve factor of getting through it without taking a single hit, because there's a, there's a lot to go through here. <laughs> So yeah, it just seems really, really daunting, especially since any segment could potentially cause you a death or something like that. Alright, but the thing about it is that if you get yourself into a routine of sorts, you can sort of kind of get past things more consistently than if you would not, because if you keep following that routine, you'll kind of get into muscle memory mode of sorts, and then you just kind of keep repeating that, hopefully, until uh, you have yourself a victory. And I wonder if it's possible to get Yoshi through this whole lightning segment. I, I mean, it probably is, but do you really want to do that? <laughs> the infinite flutter jump? Probably not. Uh, this segment here, the stock market, is pretty pretty easy. It's one of the easiest segments, actually, I would say. Uh, because you just, yeah, you just backflip and you long jump. That's all you do for the whole way through. And, yeah. Just conserving the clouds at the very end so that you don't use more than you need to. That could be the biggest issue. Oh, shoot, like that. Uh, well, I should be able to get inside it. There we go. Now, I used the cloud that time, but that wasn't too bad. Because I, I just ended up flubbing something up there, that's why I ended up using one cloud early uh, compared to the point that I would normally like to use it at, but well, well, it happened and that's why you gotta have the cloud cushion of sorts, if that makes sense, <laughs> because it, it definitely does help you, even even nerve-wise it helps you, because you have little, little extra bits of cloudy help, I guess you could say. I'm gonna skip this, and do this, do this? Okay, well, I'm gonna try this this time. Oh, yeah! There we go. That's nice. That's nice right there. Um, I'm gonna go past this because the lasers will stop. There we go. And I, I still ended up with one cloud, but I, I was more cloud conservative than I was the other time when I had three clouds, so... Alrighty. Okay, prepare for liftoff! <laughs> Uh, okay, you gotta be relatively close to the edge when you, before you do this pole trick because you won't be able to be in within range of the pole stars uh, when you do so otherwise. So yeah, that's why I go all the way over to the very edge before I do that little trick. And, uh, uh, okay, good. Uh, I could probably. Uh, I was gonna say I could probably do it now, but I'll do it when the sticks are a little bit closer to me like that, because then I'll, I'll have a better idea of the timing that way. Uh, so I guess I could do this one either way. Uh... <laughs> good. Very good. And normally you could actually just zap yourself through there, <laughs> you know, taking the hits, and then catching yourself at the pole, but eh, 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 you can't really do it here now, can ya? <laughs> Alright, final one here. You'll notice that I'm being super careful, because, you know, Daredevil and all like that. A lot more careful than I was during my initial run for... Yeah, because it just makes so a lot more sense, oh geez, to be more careful along the way. Oh, that's okay, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> We're all right. We can, we can knock around the hammers if need be. And I, I took care of that hammer brother there. Because, well, <laughs> kind of kind of makes sense to do so. Oh shoot, that's a lot of projectiles. Okay, <laughs> off the air. I mean, off the edge you go. Uh, all right, one more. Yes, nailed it. What is this? What is this launch star? What is this? Is there more? Is there more? Well, kind of. <laughs> that's my. That was my first reaction when I first got here the first time. Is I was like, oh my god, there's more to this monstrosity. <laughs> Mario, so you were the one who collected all the scattered stars. I want to thank you. Your deeds will live on in the memory of the cosmos. May the stars shine down on you. 
That is all. <laughs> well, actually, no, there's a little bit left here. If you go around, uh oh. Do I dare? Do I dare? Well, actually, it's not that dangerous. It's just, you yeah. <laughs> know. And there we are. The very final star of the game. Oh, man. <laughs> There we go! Oh, yeah! <laughs> See, not that bad if you're just, you know, you're calm, cool, and collected for it and just take things really carefully. And that's it! Gain 100 percented. Oh, man! Message sent to the message board! <laughs> well, I'll be... All your hard work has brought the Lady of the Shooting Stars right to our own little ship. R is real! R is real! <laughs> it was like forever since we've seen each other, but she hasn't changed. Yep, there's Rosalina from the first Super Mario Galaxy and many other spin-off games at this point. <laughs> I want to give you my thanks. You're welcome. And really? That's all you got? That's all you got? Well, well. So now, anyway, you can take a look-see at our beautifully filled 100% board of awesomeness. Look at that. Look at that. And for good measure, zoom out, zoom out. Gold crown, gold crown, gold, 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 yeah! <laughs> Don't forget to save and quit before you go back to the Wii message board. Uh, well, actually, no, it did saved after that. Never mind, never mind. I've gotten, I've gone kooky. <laughs> so now it is time to go to the Wii menu to see what our be the final thing. That was perfect grammar. I know. <laughs> Perfect wording. See what our gift is. Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna just wait on here this time for it to generate. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's an awkward place for it to generate. Dear player, you deserve a congratulations of cosmic proportions for collecting all the stars and playing to the very end. Thank you. You are truly a master of galaxies. Super Mario Galaxy 2 staff. 28 hours, 46 minutes, 27 seconds. Heck yeah. I did keep that the console on at certain times while I was charging a camera or something like that at times too, so that's probably not the, the full time and whatnot, and it's really hard to count green stars as being new. <laughs> In a way. But yeah, and I also get this picture of all the game stars to boot. Look at that. Woohoo! So yeah, like they gave me a thanks for playing to the very end. Thank you for watching until the very end, and thank you for all the tips and reminders along the way, like all the stuff in this part. I figured that this would be the most appropriate time to put it. <laughs> That's why I thought I would say it here, because I knew this was coming in and whatnot, so yeah! That is the end of the walkthrough, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next walkthrough. Don't delete that. Some time after this part in a dungeon... What did that PK Gam mean when he said I couldn't handle Bowser? Of course I can. I tamed him. <laughs> Yes! <laughs>